I'm Enoch Wilson from Tiger to Oregon, originally moved here from Iowa. I'm uh, training with Team OJJ, uh, anticipating the upcoming fight on September 16th against Kerry Cola. Uh, just want to say, you know, I know you're, like I said earlier, going to be the greatest stand-up grappler I've ever faced, wrestler I've ever faced in my entire career and probably ever will. Uh, I'm not, no disrespect at all, but this isn't wrestling. Um, I know you, you're preparing for this. You're, you know, honing your well-rounded skills. And uh, all I can say is, this is your debut. Bring it, dude. Let's throw down. Make it a very exciting debut and try and make it the best fight of the night, man. I'm going to be there ready to battle. Bring it. I'm Kerry Collette. I'm fighting at 155 pounds tonight for Team Quest. Um, plan to, uh, you know, fight my game, use my style of bringing my wrestling background into the fight, uh, force my opponent to go to areas and positions that I want to play at the end, and uh, take the fight to him. Be ready for everything. First in the blue corner, he comes from Beaverton, Oregon. He is a Pancration fighter. Here tonight to represent Oregon Jiu-Jitsu with a record of six wins and four losses. At five feet, nine inches tall and 155 pounds, here comes Enoch the Animal Wilson. Well, you saw him a moment ago, Enoch Wilson, Kerry Kolak. Three fights left to go. Ian Furness ran the natural couture at the Rose Garden Sport Fight 12. And lo and behold, three to go. You know it's big time now, Randy, but I look next to me and I see Matt the Law Lindland. That's right. Hey, guys. Yeah, I had to get over here so I can see ringside. I've been backstage working the show, but, you know, I've got some really good fights. And a uh, fellow teammate of mine on the Olympic team in 2000 is making his debut tonight. I want to see this one up close and live. We've seen some great fights so far tonight. Yeah, I'm really excited about this fight, too, and see Kerry Collat step into the ring for the first time and see what he can do with his great wrestling base and how he's going to adapt it to mixed martial arts. And he's against no stranger to the ring here in Enoch Wilson, who's a well-rounded, very wily, tough competitor. He can win this fight in a lot of different ways. Yeah, we didn't match him up with an easy opponent. No. Or slide out <laughs> of the shoes at all. Well, tell us a little bit. I mean, if anybody knows Kerry Collat, it would be you, Matt. Well, Kerry, you know, he's... he's very, very uh, well qualified for this position. <laughs> Let me tell you that. He actually is just a tenacious competitor. Uh, he'll go after guys. He'll compete in, in any level. I mean, the guy's been, you know, to the top of the world in wrestling. You know, world silver medalist. He's on the Olympic team. You know, at the Olympics, he won the match, went home to his hotel. He came back and they told him, you lost. Sorry, you're not getting to compete. And he was the best guy in the world that year. And, you know, it's a shame the politics involved in some of the Olympic sports. But... He is a very tough guy. He wants to fight. He's coming out here and he wants to hit this guy hard. And that's you know that's what it's about. When I got into this sport, I wanted to hurt somebody. That's why I jumped in here. In wrestling, you get to beat people technique-wise. But in this sport, you get to jump in here and you get to hurt somebody and make them quit fighting you. That's Matt Lindland, Ian Furness, Randy the Natural Couture, Rose Garden. Portland, Oregon, Sport Fight 12. It's been a heck of a card so far. We've got three to go. And you know, I, I guys, I asked Kerry Cole at this beforehand. Wrestlers don't get their due as far as striking. I mean, in the first round. Now they're going to stand him up. I'm really surprised that Kolot wants to keep this fight coming up to his feet. You know, he wants to show that he's he's got skills. He's well rounded. He keeps closing that distance really nice, not letting him not get anything off. Smothers him. Nice hip toss attempt. And I see Kerry on the top. Oh, and right wow, he is mounted. Yes, he is. This is a bad mounted. place for Kerry. This Kerry's. is a very bad place for Kerry Collette. He see needs what to, he's done. He, know, he looks like he's trying to trap the arm and roll. I hope he gets that, if he, or else this fight could be over. That's a chin in the eye. It's illegal. He can't actually do that. A couple uh, body shots by Enoch Wilson. I didn't see that. That was There's sneaky. There's a big technique. forearm. That was huge. That was huge. And be careful not to give up his arm here. His arm or his back. And here's the body lock. He's going to try and roll him. Kerry's got to get in the in-between and get his guard back. This is not where he wants to be. Is Enoch Wilson too uh, deep in there for him to roll? He's pretty deep. 
Oh, there's a big elbow. A couple of the big elbows by Enoch Wilson. Newport's uh, just a little bit of an experiment in this wow. referee in the game. I hope he's, he's savvy enough to notice that he is a tough competitor and he can stay in there and fight this. He's not really hurting him, uh, but he's got to definitely get out of there. A couple big shots. Uh, the referee's looking like he wants to jump in big time. Kerry Pollard is defending himself now. He hasn't landed anything bad. Oh, he just countered with a right hand, too. Yeah, he's, he's got to find a way to get out of here. He's got to get out of here. I do not know how much time is left in this fight, but he does not want to stay here in this round. Enoch Wilson finally in control after really... There's an arm bar attempt possibly by Enoch. Gary's got, got a hip high nice real hard trap. to come out. There he goes. There's a triangle attempt now by Enoch. Gary's yes. got his arm Did he have it? Triangle arm bar. Looking for the triangle arm bar. I don't want to see him get his arm damaged here, but he needs to stack just like he's doing, Randy. Because he's blink and the he's stacking up. it into a triangle, which is not what you want to do. Once he changes that triangle, Curry needs to realize he needs to sit up. He needs to sit up hard and lift him up. Do Matt Hughes style like we've seen before. Little slam coming lift up for him. Triangle, triangle arm bar. Tapped him out. I think he tapped him out. He did. He got him. I told him. I told you he didn't just stop. I got him to quit. Kerry got himself in some positions he's not familiar with. And that's what happened. You know, the, I know he's disappointed in his debut, but I tell you what, he did a great I'll job. Tell you what, he sure did. He showed a lot of skills I wouldn't have thought he'd had. Let's take a, while, a look here at the second round and how this thing came to an end. Guys, take us through it. Well, right here, he tries a throw, a judo throw, nonetheless, and he steps over right to mount. I mean, I wish he would have gone down to the legs and taken him down. That's what Kerry does. He shoots great shots. He could have controlled him, stayed in his guard, you know. He tried that throw, lost it. He didn't counter. It's slippery out there right now. They don't have no keys on like they do in judo. Enoch Wilson, originally from Iowa, now lives in the Portland area, and a lot of fans here for him tonight comes up with a win. They got some good Kerry fighters Kowai. over there at Oregon Judo and Jiu Jitsu. They sure do. Our champion at 155 pounds, Cam yeah. Ward, is fighting out of there as well. Let's get uh, Tim Hughes with the official announcements on the win by Enoch Wilson. That's Cam Ward over there in his corner. So, you know, right there. Four That's minutes and six up. seconds into the second round by way of a triangle choke. Your winner, the animal, Enoch Wilson. Let's take a look at the end of the fight here, guys. And Randy, Matt, Lillen, here we go. He just fell right into it. Oh, yeah. He's got it tight. He, he was doing a great first, job of countering that arm bar. And Enix adjusted to a triangle. He does not feel this adjustment. See him grab that foot, yeah. holds it in. Now he can't sit up. He cannot sit up and defend this. Randy, is that just an experience at that He's point? He's getting choked out right now. Yeah. And I think going for the throw. He didn't need to go for the big throw there, and that's what put him in bad position in the first place. And then uh, that created a situation where he had to do something drastic to get out of that mount get, or get out of that position and end up rolling right into the triangle. Well, we thought that would be an entertaining fight, and it was just that. It was a very entertaining fight when it was all said and done. Enoch Wilson has something to say, apparently. Thanks for coming out. We thought you guys did None of this would be remotely close to possible. Um, first of all, I want to thank the good Lord. Obviously, the reason this is happening. Um, I want to thank Matt and Randy for putting on the production. You guys did a great job. Love it. I'll be back anytime you guys want me. I want to thank Vicious Fight Gear. I want to thank Column One Mortgage. And I want to thank Hot Rod Betty's in Salem. My sponsors. You guys all rock. Thanks to OJJ. You guys made this happen. This is our win, not my win. Uh, I know, all I can say is thanks to Kerry Colott. He's gonna be in a, a great addition to the MMA world. Man, that kid is bringing it. He's doing what it takes. And uh, hi, Shelby, love you. Thanks, everybody.